All right. So I'm going to do a, um, a chicken with a sati sauce today. So I will. Um, camera angle, all right. Uh, I'm going to cook up some rice, put some vegetables in it, cook some chicken, and then make up a sati sauce. Kind of a sati sauce. Um, it's another sort of Jimmy Oliver idea, which is pretty good. So just do the usual with the wash the rice. Um, so normally, like a sati sauce that you get in the Chinese is, is um, and this recipe should really use peanut butter, but I haven't got any. And I was going to buy some, but I've got some tahini in the fridge. Which is the uh, sesame seed uh, paste? Um, kind of got the same kind of taste as uh, peanut butter, so I thought we'll use that. I'll use it up because it, I'm not sure if I'll show you or not. But we'll have a look at the sell by date. It's, it's very old, and I'm thinking I might just finish it off. I should really finish it off because it's very old. It's just that you just don't make. It's the kind of, you use it in hummus, but you know, just don't make hummus very often. Don't buy it that often. I do buy it from time to time, but just three tubs, but it's kind of like a, if I buy hummus, it's just like a, a, a quick snack. You know, it's not, it's, it's when I don't want to cook, I'll buy hummus. I'll show you as well a wee trick to cooking just chicken quite plain. I have to catch that fly and not put it in the rice. Um, I'll show you a wee technique as well to cook uh, to cook just plain chicken breast, but make it make it come out quite nice, make it quite tasty with just nothing but salt and pepper on it, that's all. I'll get to that in a minute. And I'm going to talk about the chicken I bought as well because it's it's no good. Just want to rinse that a few times. Runs it a few times until the water runs clear. I just I overfilled the ramekin with rice, so we shall do it. Just two and a wee bit. Water. And, and I'll add to that, I bought some frozen peas. Definitely going to fall out in the freezer. Uh, I've got some frozen peas and some frozen sweet corn, so we'll drop a handful of these in. A handful of each of these. Those wee clips. Those 
keys up. This piece I'm definitely going to fall out. I can't go on forever. Okay, so that is the rice on, a wee bit of salt on that as well. done this before with cooking the vegetables in with the rice, it's a good way to cook them because they don't get too overcooked because the water gets absorbed. So rice, peas, corn and uh, salt and water, that's all that is. So some plain old chicken breasts. this tahini I'm going to just finish this off oh my goodness did you see that <laughs> uh, line that up see the last sell by date it's uh, August 2019 at the moment you do the math it's, uh, so all I'm going to do with the chicken I think I'll marinate some of it uh, yeah, I'll marinate some of it. So I've got these chicken breasts. I think these are probably the uh, lowest, certainly from Tesco, the lowest uh, welfare. I think they were cheap. I don't know how much they were. I can't remember how much they were. But, um, yeah, I um, I have no excuse really because the thing is, is I live in London, and this is all they have in my local small Tesco Metro, which is walking distance from my house. But I have a car, I've got a bicycle, and I've got a mo moped, and I live in London, so you just do a very short, a very short distance from my house more than walking distance but still it's it's a short distance there are giant supermarkets where you can get um every kind of uh, you get free range and organic options so really i've got no excuse i keep saying that uh, this is all they sell in my local one but um, <clears throat> the, the huge ones are very close by it's a very hot, it's a very hot day today, so I'll give that a wee runs out just because it's going to go smelly very quickly. <laughs> Take my bit out today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry this chicken. I need to tidy this cupboard up. So what I'm going to do is going back to. Uh, I'll use this pan. So, I really have no excuse for buying this cheap, low welfare chicken. I can afford the better stuff, but I haven't been doing it, <clears throat> and it's just laziness. It's, there's no real excuse for it. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to make any more videos that use low welfare chicken. So, uh, The next chicken dish I do, which I, I'm sure will be in no time, um, it, I'll make the effort to go and get the good stuff. Um, because it's just laziness. So what I want to do here is I kind of want two portions, which will be minimum six. Two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three. Four, five, if you can hear that noise outside, that's a, I think that's a bird. It's a bird in the leaves. Birds around here are quite aggressive, quite wary. Uh, I'll do that, that should be two portions 
yeah, I'll do that and I'll marinate this in some spices. <clears throat> I don't think I touched that. I'll use a small one. That would be nice. I think we'll go with a little tandoori spice. You can see what I'm doing here. I've got one hand that's clean and one hand that's touching the chicken. So that allows me to um, to touch different things around the kitchen without contaminating it all with raw meat. Just going to put some of this tandoori spice mix on it. Which is just 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 the packet of tandoori spice you buy. boiling so we'll just turn that down to one touch of, on touch of pepper on it so just get that marinating just and that we can just fry that up and use that for anything mentioned before I like these uh, shower caps uh, as opposed to cling film because cling film is single use I've been using those shower caps a few times All I'm going to do with that chicken is just fry it. I will show you how to get it nice and tasty. So I've just stuck that on a high heat and I'm going to turn it in a second. get some colour onto them. So you can see that this bit here is touching the raw chicken on top. So this is touching raw chicken. So this has um, got raw chicken on it. But the next time we go to touch it it'll be cooked. Uh, rice is overflowing. So I'm going to give that a quick clean. So now it's of the rice. It's really annoying when the rice over boils like that. I'm going to have to put the lid on like that. Okay, so chicken. Just simple plain fried chicken. Just put some pepper on it and some salt. Just keep the heat up right high. It's up at number six. Don't skimp on the salt, you want plenty of salt. I don't know what that stuff is, but... Now, although this used to be a non-stick pan, it's not non-stick anymore. But that's what you want. You kind of don't... I, I, I deliberately chose not to use my non-stick pan. Because you want these wee sticky bits on it. You can see the brown bits around the base, that's what we want. So that's good flavour.
so you're just keeping an eye on it so it doesn't catch but you're getting that color onto it <clears throat> and that's exactly what we want that good color so that's developing a lot of flavor and it's almost kind of getting crispy and that's just plain chicken nothing else salt and pepper plenty of salt actually good good pinches of salt onto it you kind of want to go a wee bit heavy on the salt turning it and you're obviously keeping an eye so it doesn't burn but we're going to take it right to the edge so it's almost catching it's almost burning so it's dark the brown is getting darker and darker that's exactly what we want but not you know not too you don't let it get too dark so all I've done is fried it I've not added anything you can add a wee bit of stock into this and it'll be quite good but um not going to do that. So we're about ready now. This chicken starting to get some darker brown on it. And all you're going to do is, kind of at this point, so it's just starting to catch, it's just almost on the edge. You just put a bit of water into it. And you're going to just rub it, just deglaze it, just use the chicken to lift, to clean the bottom of the pan. It also makes obviously cleaning the pan a bit easier as well. So at this point, you know, if it was starting to catch, you've stopped that, you've brought the temperature right down. It's not going to burn now. And you just keep turning it. And all this liquid is going to not only go into the chicken to make it juicy, it's going to evaporate off. And you can see the colour of that, it's almost like a sauce. Look at the colour of that. And that's really nice, it's chicken stock. It's like chicken stock, which it kind of is, but you know, there's no bones, no fat. It's just, it's, it's with just the breast alone, created quite a good uh, bit of stock, just by getting that colour onto it. So, obviously marinating the chicken is really good. But plain old chicken breast, this is a really nice way to cook it. And you just want to take it right down again, see the water's disappeared almost. And that's what you want, you just want to keep moving it, keep coating it in that water, that, that stock. Turn that off now. Once it's all disappeared, and then just before it catches again, you don't want to, you don't want to have to do it again. It's done, and, with this, and that's just plain chicken breast. Look at the colour of that. You know, I mean, it's, you can just tell that that's like meaty, stocky. You know, and all we're going to do is just let that rest while we make the uh, satay sauce. But that's a really nice way to cook this chicken. Uh, cook a plain chicken breast. And you've also done, done the hard work in cleaning your pan as well. All these wee bits are really good. And there is a lot of flavour in that chicken because you've got the salt and pepper and then you've got that kind of depth that you get from that stock that you created. It's a good wee technique that. I'm cleaning the pan even though it's not not it's no longer non-stick that dead easy. Just let that rest and check this rice. Looks about done, I think. Yeah, so all the, wa all, the, all the water has disappeared, so you can see there's no liquid at the bottom there, just a wee kind of tiny wee touch. And we want some more food. And those vegetables have been cooked through, but they're not, you know, they're not overcooked. 
turn that off and in fact I will just put that to the I will leave it on the heat, leave it on the residual heat. And as per usual, just as soon as we um, take our first portion of this, this will come off the heat and then it'll be in the fridge within um, within uh, within an hour. Okay, satay sauce time. So what you would normally use is peanut butter, but I've had this tahini lingering around my fridge forever and a day, so I'm going to use it. Uh, there's a load of oil in it, I want to get rid of that. Normally you would just kind of dig down and pull it out and then leave that oil on top. But uh, in fact I'll do that and leave the oil in the jar and throw the jar away. And I'll need my recipe here to remember what goes in this. I'm wondering if I should just pour that away. Yeah, I'll pour that into the bin I think. You don't want to put oil down the drain, you know. Just pouring that into that container. that bit of oil on top to leave because the oil on top is what has preserved this for <laughs> yeah, all these years hopefully it's alright so say so normally you'd use peanut butter for this but uh, this is kind of similar so it's basically just taking this tahini peanut butter and then just spiking it with some things and so this was a um, Jamie Oliver idea of making your own satay sauce, which is really good. That's what I, that's what I like about Jamie Oliver. Kind of gets me cooking things I wouldn't have thought to do otherwise. Finally, bend that. So not quite as much as I was expecting. Just going to look at my recipe: so coriander, chili, ginger, garlic, oil, soy sauce. Perfect juice from a light soy sauce to make sure it doesn't go too dark. I'll just move that off the heat. So what I'm gonna do. And I think I'm just gonna eat this cold. Uh, I don't think you need to eat it up. Lime juice. Just put half in and then we can decide if it needs more. This looks like a very hot chilli this, this looks like a dehydrated a bit. Don't put too much in. very hot. That's almost like a different <coughs> I think that's almost like a different breed of chili there. That's like a what's that like? Not quite a scotch bonnet but uh, something else that's looking hot. <coughs> it's good though. light soy sauce. Hopefully it doesn't turn it too dark. Actually I want to re-whisk in that. Say to put a touch of water in it as well, so I might just do that now actually. <clears throat> so 
So you've never made this with tahini before, but um, ginger and garlic. It's funny that limes don't have seeds, but uh, <coughs> <coughs> lemons do. Oh, it's flipping. That chilli is very hot. Yeah, when you see the chilli and it's kind of smooth and flat, that, that usually means it, it looks like a pepper. It means it's not going to be very hot, but see how that's kind of wrinkled, dry? I think if they get grown in a quite a dry environment, that's what makes them, uh, that's what makes them hot. So I'm going to grate the garlic and ginger in, so you don't need too much of it because when you grate it like this it's uh, quite powerful. Should really do that over the bin in case you drop it. It's not very hygienic having to haul it out of the bin. Let's see, he's putting his finger in the bin. Probably not going to use this whole clove. This is quite big. They're all quite big cloves there, so I'm just going to use half of this. Because grated raw garlic is really powerful. I say that and it puts the whole thing in. What do we have then? We've got coriander, chilli, garlic, ginger, olive oil. Olive oil? Some oil in the tahini anyway. That's what it says anyway. We'll pop some in. This is extra virgin olive oil. Soy sauce, lime, oh, lime jet zest and juice. I didn't put the zest in. Peanut butter and water, I think that should be us. See, it's the same kind of consistency as the peanut butter. Hmm, that's really nice. Oh, the garlic. Garlic's coming through nice, but that's really, really good. Hmm. Saltiness, I think, coming through from the soy sauce. That's lovely. Yeah, good flavour on that. <coughs> of course, the jelly's catching the back of my throat.
So I think I'm just eating this sauce cold. I think I'm just going to kind of coat the chicken in it on top of the rice and that's it. Well, that's the good thing about cooking the rice like that. That will sit there for... And if you left that in that residual heat, it's a ceramic hob, it's not um, induction. You can leave that in the residual heat for half an hour or so. So it's very, it's a flexible way of cooking. You don't have to time everything to perfection. Same with the chicken, it's just sitting there. It's, um, it's uh, just resting, it's fine. It's good for it. So that's your homemade satay sauce. Just about enough, I think, for two portions. So the next time you come to do this, the second portion, if I get two portions of this out of this chicken, uh, you would just you would just uh, microwave the rice. You can put the, you can microwave the chicken as well if you want, and then just put the sauce on top. There's nothing to it. Walk through the rice. That'll be in the fridge within an hour. And chop this up. <coughs> So this says, if I use half of this, if I can um, resist and only use half of this, what you're getting is you're getting three portions out of two chicken breasts. So you're kind of, uh, yeah, that should be fine actually. So you're not being too greedy. And that's the thing, if you cook the chicken really nicely like that, and if you were to get the good stuff, you know, you get three portions out of uh, two chicken breasts. So although you're spending more, on the higher welfare chicken, you cook it like this because <coughs> we've got the other portion in the fridge of the marinated stuff. You get three portions out of it, so it's you know, it makes it if we all kind of got the higher welfare and ate less of it, it would be better for everyone. Okay, so yeah, perfectly. Enough for two portions. So yeah, tahini or peanut butter works really, really well with this. Ideally, tahini that is not <coughs> a thousand years old. But, um, yeah, we'll just pop a, I'll clean the edge of that up and then pop it in the fridge, and then that'll do for the next portion. So that's your done. So that's your. Uh, That's good. Um, plain old chicken breast, rice peas and sweet corn, homemade satay sauce. That's done. <laughs>